just got this uh, four-legged robot toy design and walking. This is a uh, I was lucky and got it on the first try. It's just just a test bed. I'll show it working. close-up views of it. It's probably one of the few things I built that worked the first time. It's got a few problems I need to adjust, but nothing that kept it from uh, operating. It's basically the same design as this, only I doubled up on it. Or that one had the legs going or the the uh, gears and legs coming down this way I just rotated them 90 degrees and then put one on the other side drove them from a metal gear that was a little bit tricky to figure out because I wanted to use the same parts this is just the same part four times and these are the same part four times and for that to work, you have to get the geometry just right so that when this engages, they'll all be in a proper uh, proper place. Surprised how well it works. How stable it is. Like I say, this is just a test bed. I made it so I could try different legs. The feet are just screwed on. I can try different legs and feet uh, to see how much, how big the feet have to be to keep it stable. And the legs, I've got them pushed out quite a bit here. I may try to take some of this offset off. Try to get this a little bit narrower right here. So I can cut down on this and make the whole thing a little bit smaller. But still, I'm very pleased that it uh, worked the first time. It's the same same setup as this. 3-volt, uh, 30, volt, 30 RPM in 20 motor. 3-volt uh, AAA battery pack and a switch. And a bunch of 3mm by 12mm screws. got the initial idea for doing this four-legged thing when I uh, was just playing around in this linkage program. I just decided to stick four gears on there with one in the middle and see what happened. Of course, this is just one side of it. That was uh, where I got the, the uh, idea for it, playing with this. Here it is in Fusion 360. Uh, I'll animate it. Hopefully this is showing up with the screen recording software. It took a lot longer to get all these joints working than it did to draw the thing up. One uh, thing I was referring to in the other section of this video was uh, the way these gears are syncing up. My initial gear was 25 teeth. This one's 24. And I also had these uh, other gears off at not 45 degree angles. So I was trying to adjust for spacing a little to, uh, I don't know, squeeze it to the top or to the bottom. But anyway, then... Uh, the gear wouldn't mesh up with all of them and since I wanted all these four gears here with the, with the shafts that go to the other side to be identical they needed to be able to mesh up to the center gear here when I changed it to 24 teeth 
and the angles to 45 degrees. So this from the center of this down to here, down to here is 45, and that's for all of them. Then it's then it meshed up. I'm not sure if I just got lucky on that or if I think there might be not just to, you have to have an even number of teeth probably, but also uh, has to be just certain certain teeth counts that'll work for for all this to work out. That's what it looks like when I designed it. Thanks for watching.